Uh, good day guys and uh, welcome to our meeting for today. So I have a very important announcement to make before we proceed to our lecture. So your job interview will already be on uh, Monday next week. Okay, so it's going to be on November 22, same time, which is 10 a.m. Okay, so um, supposedly it was scheduled on the first or second week of December, but uh, it was changed by the academic management heads. So again, your job interview will now be on uh, November 22 uh, at 10 a.m. So everybody is required to wear a business attire or you could wear your summer white uniform okay so uh, i would like you to uh, take a look at uh, page 141 or 209 and uh, i would like somebody to volunteer uh, to be an employer and the other one is the applicant so we have here a sample script of a job interview okay so I would like somebody to uh, volunteer so who would like to volunteer as an employer start na po. yes good morning in book Leonard yes I'm Vince Tuason personal director of Filipinas but I would like to ask you some questions about yourself and your interest Employer. Employer. Em employer. How did you to come back to come to Philippines? Well, in the past, I occupied the position that cooked me up in a corner most of the time. I didn't find this good for me. So I decided to look for, for one that gave me more opportunity to work with people. Because by nature, I am a person who enjoy working with people. You say you like to work with people. Why do you like to work with people? Well, since in, since my high school days, I have had a lot of people-oriented activities and I enjoy all of this. So this may be the reason why I enjoy working with, pe with people. What kind of qualities do you think you possess that would make you work well with people or in a job and in different situations? The bird school activities, which, which were mostly people-oriented, I involved myself in. I allowed me to mingle with all types of people. I think this trained, this trained me to adjust myself to people with difficult, different cultures. Um, are you speaking of your activities? I noticed when I was reviewing your application, that you have been active in Lyceum Glee Club and Lyceum Outreach Program. What is this Lyceum Outreach Program? This is a program that intended to alleviate the living condition of some so socially, economically, and spiritually disadvantaged people living near the university. And I see you are the chairman of this program. Right. And what does this position as chairman entail? In other words, what are your duties, responsibilities, and problems? Basically, I act as the head of steering committee. Committee. I decided to be a visibility of the committee's suggestions or ideas on raising funds for our project. I am also responsible for making activities or, fun or find ways and means to make the steering to meet, meet the objectives of the program. I'm glad to hear those from you. I would like to tell you that I enjoyed talking to you. It was an interesting conversation. I feel that your qualifications fit with this kind of person that we are looking for as CEO. I should be getting in touch with you by mail three weeks from now. Oh, thanks a lot. Have a good day. Okay, thank you very much for our uh, dear students who volunteered. Okay, so let us analyze the situation. Okay. Uh, in reality, basically, the script is far 
far-fetch from reality. Okay, far-fetched. Uh, for what reason? Because some of the questions is really not for the position that he is applying for, and that is he is applying for the CEO, but the question is so shallow. Anyways, let us analyze first. So here, the um, uh, there is a greeting from the employer or the interviewer, okay? And then the applicant responded back, okay? So the employer introduced or the interviewer introduces himself, okay? Now, uh, the first question was raised here. And uh, what was the first question? Okay, what prodded you to come to Filipinas back? So in other words, the question pertains to what makes you apply in our company? It is like furtherly asking the question, why are you applying in our company in the first place? Okay, so remember these questions can possibly also be raised during your interview. So why did you choose? So in, in a uh, nautical student world, okay, and you are applying for a shipping company, the interviewer is like asking you, why, why are you applying in our shipping company? Why not to other shipping companies? There are hundreds of shipping companies out there. Why did you apply in our company? Okay, so of course, the interviewer, uh, the interviewee or the applicant will be answering that one. Okay, so uh, he applied for that company because he has an experience already in that particular position. So in this particular uh, scenario of this script or interview, the applicant had already have an experience. Now, let's talk about your situation in applying for a job in the job interview okay uh, remember this the scenario is that you are already a graduate of philippine merchant marine school and this will also appear on your letter of application so in your letter of application you will mention there on the second paragraph i am a graduate i'm a fresh graduate of philippine merchant marine school in las piñas batch 2022 or 2021 it's all up to you okay and then you may proceed with giving more information about your experience uh, or background okay so let's uh, let's go back again to the script so the uh, applicant mentioned that he is applying for the for that job for that company because uh, he has an experience in this position and uh, he's also looking forward for opportunity now you may notice in the script the questions of the interviewer also was based from the answer of the uh, applicant. And if you're going to take a look at this line, um, in the past, I occupied the position, coped me up in one corner. Uh, I didn't find this good for me, so I decided to look for one that gave me an opportunity to work with people. That's what he said. To work with people because by nature, I'm a person who enjoys working with people. So since the applicant mentioned this, the interviewer used this as a question. So you said you like working with people. Why do you like to work with people? So uh, what does it mean for us, for the applicants? Be careful also on what you are going to answer because some uh, some of the questions of the interviewers will be based on your question. So avoid bluffing. Much worse, avoid lying. Because if you're going to say something and you do not know what that something is all about, and the interviewer began asking you about that, unfortunately you don't know about it, then you will fail the interview. So better be careful. Make sure that when you say something, you know what that is. So in this uh, script, the um, applicant uh, said that I love working with people. And then the interviewer began to ask him, uh, why do you love working with people? So better be careful. Since you answered that, uh, you, you, you gave that answer to the to the interviewer, make sure you know what you are saying. In that way, even though the interviewer asks you about that something, you will be a you will be able to answer him. Okay. So uh, what else? Let, let us proceed. Okay. Um, what kind of qualities do you think you possess? So again, the uh, the uh, uh, interviewer is asking for uh, distinctive characteristic of that uh, applicant. Okay. Um, the applicant also mentioned 
about varied school activities. Okay, so li listen very carefully, guys. Uh, since you don't have an experience more in connection with the job or position that you are applying for, make sure that uh, you also give information about your extracurricular activities. So since you are a uh, freshman, it is advisable for you as early as this to join organization, school organization, community organization in your barangay or in a religious activity, so on and so forth. Because you may be able to include this in describing yourself. Okay, remember, if the interviewer asks you for your qualities, it is not enough for you to say that you are good, you are responsible, alright? But uh, they also need proof that you are a responsible person, that you are a hard worker. So you could also include that. Like for example, I could say that one of my best uh, quality is that uh, I am a hard worker person. Now, uh, to tell you the truth, I am a member of this particular organization, blah, blah, blah. And uh, whenever uh, somebody asks me uh, to do or even to, uh, to finish a particular task, okay, I will be working hard on it for me to be able to accomplish it. So that is what you mean by not only saying your qualities, but also giving them proof that you are a hard worker person. That's why it is advisable for you to do that. Remember, on the second paragraph of your uh, a letter of application, you will be mentioning your educational background. And after that, after mentioning your educational background, you should be mentioning also some organizational activities or involvement that you have. Some of you might not have any organization yet, but it would be better for you to join organization as early as this, for you to become responsible, hard worker, so on and so forth. But for the meantime, since uh, you are immediately going to be having a job interview next week, okay, you may, you know, create a particular organization, even though you could say that that organization during your high school days, you could explain that you are a member of this, you are an officer of this, uh, proving to the interviewer that uh, you are what the quality that you are saying. Uh, are you still with me, guys? Are you getting what I'm, uh, what I'm telling you? Yes, sir. I hope so, guys. I hope so, because job interview will be next week already. Okay. So, again, uh, if you're going to go back to the script... Uh, uh, the employer, the interviewer, asked him about your uh, about his activities. Okay, um, he also mentioned about the uh, Lyceum Glee Club, so on and so forth. Okay, and uh, what else? The applicant answered that uh, correctly. He also mentioned about the organization. So again, going back, make sure if you're going to pretend that you are involved in an organization, make sure you, you would be able to answer uh, the interviewer's question. So if you invented, like, uh, I'm one of the uh, officer of a theatrical organization during my high school days, but in reality, you are not, and the uh, interviewer began to ask you about it, make sure you could answer some of it. Because, again, that's an example of bluffing, but if you are going to bluff, make sure you could get out from it meaning you could uh, pass uh, the question, okay? And then the, the script uh, finished by um, uh, explain, uh, applicant is explaining about he's the head of the steering committee, so on and so forth. And then all of a sudden, uh, we will know that he's applying for the position of CEO. That's why I told you the script is far-fetched from reality. Anyways, let us now uh, proceed to the questions uh, on page 142, guys. Page 142 of your new module or uh, 210 for the old module, module 5, preparing for job interview. So we have some questions there, all right? Okay, so would somebody read me the uh, first question? Uh, go ahead. How would you describe yourself? Again, can you repeat that question, please? How would you describe yourself? Okay, so I would like you to answer that question for me. Go ahead. Just just try. Let us uh, practice, okay? Uh, what are you going to say if the interviewer asks you, uh, how would you describe yourself? Okay. 
Go ahead. How would you describe yourself? Yes, go ahead. So, so how how would I describe myself? So I'm Leonard Limbok and I'm 18 years of age and I'm living in Nasbu Batangas. What else? Uh, and my the occupation of my father is is a retired driver and my mother is a re, a retired teacher and I was graduated on on Dr. Kusagon of Bier Meta Senior Memorial National High School around in Batangas and I'm turn, currently studying in PMMS which pertains to Philippine Marine Merchant National Merchant school. Okay, stop there. Stop there. All right. So, guys, listen very carefully. Um, what he mentioned in describing yourself, uh, those information are already written in the resume and also in the letter of application. So, as much as possible, the question, how do you describe yourself? You should give a description of yourself in relation to the position that you are applying for because if you're going to say my name is uh, mr limbo it well dude that is already stated in the resume i live at what are you an eight year old person describing yourself no actually this is similar to the question what are your great qualities it is almost the same describe yourself by giving your greatest qualities and when we talk about uh, qualities we're talking about characteristics that has something to do with you applying for a job okay if you're going to say my height is five seven i love singing my hobbies are uh, playing games uh, 10 straight hours those answers has nothing to do with the job that you're applying nothing so what are you going to do? How would you describe yourself? You have to think of good qualities about yourself. And then you explain. Okay? So let us try to uh, rephrase that question again. How would you describe yourself? Now, how would you describe yourself? Any volunteer? By not describing what is written in the resume. What are your great qualities? That is the same question. So how would you describe yourself? Anybody would like to volunteer? This time we're going to change the answer. This time you're going to mention your great qualities. Go ahead. Any volunteer? We're just practicing. Go ahead. So, hello, sir. Good morning. I'm... Go ahead. I'm, I'm Limbo. Go ahead. I'm good at... Uh, no. Who are you? So I'm, I'm good at... Inter I'm good at communicate, communicating to others mm -hmm. because I practice my interpersonal skills and mm -hmm. interpersonal skills... Mm -hmm. Skills. When <laughs> when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. Okay. A a anything else? Any other qualities? Any other qualities that you would like? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I would like to deem myself as a very resourceful person. Okay. That likes to get things done very swift. All right. Okay. 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 Now. Take a look at that. Take a look at those qualities and description. That is much better on the first answer, isn't it? Because you are now already mentioning your qualities. And those qualities have something to do with the job that you are applying. So whenever you apply for a job, you will let your uh, interviewer or employer know that you are a responsible person, that you are a focused person. Okay, and then just like what uh, the other student said, I'm a resourceful type of person. So perhaps you could mention like two to three, and then you you could explain it if you like. All right, I believe that uh, my qualities uh, gives me an uh, gives me an advantage uh, to be in the position that I'm applying for. So that is much better, isn't it? Instead of saying, Hi, my name is Mr. Ted Ralph. I'm 50 years old. I live at uh, Paranaque. My hobbies are... That is so lame. That is so crazy because, Jesus Christ, it is already in the resume. Why do you have to repeat it? So what actually the employer is asking is your qualities by describing who you are and what you can contribute to the company very good okay let's uh, take a look again on the question uh what's the number two questions okay what are your hobbies go ahead number two 
Uh, read it for me, please. Go ahead. Hurry up. What are your hobbies? Go ahead. Sir, so, um, just read. Just just read the second question and then answer it. Go ahead. So my habit is I constantly learn and my previous um, my previous study regarding of what my of what uh, uh, what I what of what position I have been applying for and it gives me an advantage. Okay. All right. Thank you. Like uh, the basic. You're breaking up a little bit. I think uh, your fan is facing your uh, microphone. Anyways, okay, thank you. What about other answer? Go ahead. I, I wasn't able to get your answer because you're breaking up. Uh, another answer, please. What are your hobbies? Go ahead. To read that my spare time. It allows me to analyze the... the piece that I'm reading. Okay. It, okay. It enhances my comprehension. Okay. Okay. Now, listen very carefully. So, those are two good answers, even though the first one I was ab wasn't able to get it because it is... Anyways, those are two good answers. Uh, in other words... Sorry, in other yeah, words... In other words, the question, what are your hobbies? Pertaining also for you as an applicant becoming a productive person okay so it has, has something to do with productivity because if you're just going to say sir my hobbies are i usually uh play skateboard i usually skateboard outside of course you do not skateboard inside and i usually play video games like 10 hours straight i love playing uh this and that video games the question is are you productive if you're going to mention those nonsense hobbies, even though you, you are telling the truth, correct, you are telling the truth. But then again, it doesn't have anything to do as an applicant for the job that you are applying. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, a while ago, a student said, sir, uh, one of my hobbies would be I usually read books so that it tends to widen my comprehension. Is that being productive? Yes. Improving yourself is being productive. That is good. Or... Uh, a student would say, sir, actually, uh, it becomes a hobby. Actually, it's not a hobby, but it becomes a hobby because I'm always doing it. I usually help out in house chores, not to mention we have a small uh, store in our place, and I tend to help out my parents with that. So even though it is not like a hobby, but it becomes a hobby because I'm always doing it. So in that way, you are giving the idea to the interviewer that you are a productive type of person. You know what I'm talking about? Are you getting my point? Right? So, uh, actually, the, the answers a while ago are improving. So, number three, uh, go ahead. Read it for me, please. Hurry up. Just read. Go ahead. Just read. Don't worry about Which the answer. Like best or least about your job? Next question. Number four. Go ahead. Continue. What is the toughest challenge within your work experience? Okay, uh, what do others fail in the job? Okay, okay, stop there. So, uh, actually, the three and four questions are more on a person who had already an experience before. So, th uh, these two questions applies for applicants who already have an experience. In your case, you're going to be applying for a job which you don't have an experience. But, of course, you had an experience during your OJT, Okay. So, uh, it is like this. What is the least thing that you like about your job? It is like, what are the things that you dislike about your job about, or about your former job? Okay? So, uh, you have, you're going to mention that. It is a little bit negative, but uh, this is similar to the questions, what are your weaknesses? Okay, so let's go to the question, what are your weaknesses? Remember, the answer could be negative, the same way as the latter question of what do you dislike about your job? So, let us go to the question, what are your weaknesses? Okay, who would like to volunteer to answer that? Go ahead, let's, let's analyze the question. What are your weaknesses or what is your weaknesses or weakness? 
Anybody would like to volunteer? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. My weaknesses is that I think that I'm too complacent when it comes to having spare time. I tend to over, over, how do you say? Over, mm -hmm. over what? Over time. Over time in uh -huh. using my spare time. Okay. It, okay. it tends to be unproductive. Okay. Period. Stop there. You, you're going to stop there. Okay. All right. Uh, anybody else? Any volunteer? Go ahead. What is your weakness or what are your weaknesses? If you have more weaknesses. Anybody would like to volunteer? Go ahead. This, this, this would practice you more in answering the question. Anybody? My weaknesses is about to see my loved ones or close to me getting hurt or being being in difficult in being see being see them that they they experiencing the difficult ex, the difficult life uh, that they have. Okay. All right. So uh, for you, one of your weaknesses is that if ever that you see your loved ones is suffering or not yes, in right. their needs, something like that. So you you get a little bit emotional. Perhaps that is what you're trying to say. You're uh, getting a little bit emotional if ever that uh, there's a problem lingering in your loved ones, like financially or emotionally. All right. So uh, guys, here's my tip. If the interviewer asks you that question, of course, you're going to say something that is negative about you because that is a weakness, all right? However, okay, do not end your statement by a negative idea, but you're going to convert that into positive. So a while ago, the student mentioned a while ago, like, uh, one of my weaknesses would be I'm becoming too complacent. Usually, I take things for granted, okay? And uh, sometimes I cannot help myself. So that's a negative part. But you need to, to end your statement by giving solution to that problem, by giving positive to that negative part. So do not forget the connective, however, right? So again, let us go back. So what is your weakness? One of my, uh, my weakness would be I'm very complacent. Sometimes I take things for granted. However, here you go. You're going to give solution to that. However, uh, I tend to uh, make an adjustment and try to learn more, not being too complacent, uh, complacent not taking things for granted because I know that uh, there is always uh, different ways or challenge that I could be facing uh, in the future and I should always be prepared for it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so another, uh, the other one said, I'm getting too emotional. So, I'm get, uh, what, what is your weaknesses? Uh, one of my weaknesses would be I'm getting too emotional if ever that my uh, family members or my loved ones have uh, problems. However, here you go, however, I'm trying to control my emotions. But instead of focusing on the problem, I tend to focus more on the solution so that I can give satisfaction or contentment to my family members. Are you getting my point, guys? Are you learning something now? Yes, sir. Are you still there? Yes, sir. All right. So do not end yes, it in a negative note. Try to end it in the uh, positive way. Now, uh, let us go back again to the question. Uh, okay. So why should we hire you? Okay, this is a very typical question. Why should we hire sir, you? I... Go ahead, please. Please, go ahead. Go ahead. Sir, uh, you should hire me because... Uh... I already have experience which can substantial mm -hmm. enough to mm -hmm. uh, perform the best I could in our com company. Okay. Uh, I will uh -huh. also... mm -hmm. Go ahead. And I would like also to help other uh, member of our company that mm -hmm. gradually improve themselves. Okay. Uh, to perform the daily or daily activities or daily work okay so basically the question why should we hire you is again similar to the question what are your uh, good qualities because whenever you mention a good quality about yourself because you know uh, you would like to be hired give them a proof 
all right and that is now you said a while ago that you have an experience tell me something about your experience so here we go again are you really an experienced person or you are just lying or bluffing so make sure that when you say something you know what you're talking about all right so you will oh. say you will say i'm a responsible person i i have leadership skills because in my former job i was a team leader now you're giving them proof that you have leadership skills because you were a team leader for two years in my former company something like that or if not uh, in connection with the job it could be an organization school organization or community organization okay so i believe that uh, you should hire me okay going back to the question i believe you should hire me because i'm a responsible and focused person uh, during my college days I was a member of this particular organization and any job assigned to me, I'm responsible to it I and I immediately uh, accomplished it. And I accomplished things by focusing more on that task for me to finish it on time, okay, and finish it uh, correctly. So basically, uh, those are the things that you could say why you should hire me because uh, when they ask you why you should hire me, you're going to say some qualities, isn't it? But these qualities should not be merely consist of words, but you should also give them proof that you are what you are saying about yourself. Okay? Right? Okay, you got that? Okay, I hope everybody's on. Okay, give me some questions. Go ahead. Give some questions. I'm going to answer it. We are going to analyze it. So, perhaps around uh three to five questions let's go let's let's entertain some questions and let's see how am i going to answer it uh by by the way guys i cannot go back to the um what you call this one google meet to uh, let uh, others enter because i'm recording already what we are talking about okay so give me some questions throw some questions go ahead go ahead why do you think you deserve this promotion for? Okay, why do, why do you think it, actually it is again similar to why should we hire you? Okay, why do you think that you deserve this position? It's it's the same questions with that. So uh, what I'm going to tell them, okay, I will ref, I will rephrase the question, sir. I believe I deserve this position because I have the qualities that it takes to become a cadet or an able seaman just like what i've mentioned in my answer about my greatest qualities and why you should hire me is that uh, i am responsible i am focused and i am hard worker person and based on my experiences in my uh, organizational activities as a uh, team leader i have uh uh, shown my leadership in handling people and also in achieving the task given to me period okay so but basically that is a similar question another question go ahead sure. go ahead um, how do you work under pressure okay so that is that's that's a very good question sir okay how do you handle pressure okay so basically to avoid panicking in terms of having a lot of tasks assigned what i usually do is i manage my task and i manage my time so the bottom line there i am an organized person i tend to organize the task given to me and i tend to arrange that in order of the priorities of the company so which one first for me to accomplish so by being organized i can manage my time i can manage my task and i can handle any pressure that comes to me period all right okay i hope you're learning from my answer another question go ahead another question no more Sir, go ahead. What, what do you what do you do when uh, things go wrong in a yeah, or something? What do you usually do when things go wrong? So in the first place, we should analyze the problem. 
upon analyzing the problem, we should come up with a solution. If I come up with a solution or recommendation, I will ask my superior for an approval. Once it is approved, then you're going to implement the solution to solve the problem. Another question. Oh, sir. Yeah. Um, did you have any trouble learning a procedure? How did you go about it? Okay. Okay. So, so that's still also coming from the module. Okay. Uh, I did not find any problem following a certain procedure. Procedures or policies are made for as a guide for us to follow so that, you know, our action should be guided accordingly. So, as far as I'm concerned, even from my past experience, I did not find any difficulty following or doing the procedures given. Other questions? Another question. Okay, sir, my question. Go ahead. How can you be a good leader with your co-workers, sir? How can you be a good leader with your co-worker? Okay. So, basically, the first thing that you should do is to know your responsibility as a leader and you should also be aware of the responsibilities of your people. So, that's, that's the first thing. Because as a leader, you will act and serve as a guide to your people. You should help them to be successful, to excel. That is what leaders usually do. Okay? You should help them, improve them, motivate them. Okay? And someday, they will become also a leader like me or even like you. And that is how I usually handle people. Last question. Go ahead. No more? Okay. It's a power of interview. Okay. So be real. In other words, stop being too scripted. If you like, you could write the answer to possible questions, but do not memorize it, or else you will sound it like scripted, and that is unnatural. You're not being real. Okay? Be attentive to the questions. As much as possible, try to understand what is being asked. Instead of saying, can you repeat the question, please? Because if you do that, it gives the idea to the interviewer that you're not paying attention. And that is a, you know, uh, poor feedback to the interviewer. Uh, please be properly aggressive and energetic, but not too aggressive. When we say energetic, the voice should sound authoritative. Do not sound scared. Do not sound nervous. Because the first thing that the interviewer will check, most especially in the real life interview, is your positivism and your confidence. If you're not confident enough, that would be a negative point against you. Why am I going to hire an applicant who is scared in the interview? So what more if he's already assigning the real job? He could be, what, more scared? We don't want any applicant who is scared. We want an applicant who is uh, exert authority, uh, confident, and knows what he is doing. Always remember that. Watch out for your communication skills. So practice. By the way, I'm going to give you uh, the remaining hours uh, to practice with your classmates. I need you to find a partner with you and throw some questions back and forth so that you can be practiced. Again, use this time to practice because your interview would be next week already. If you're not going to practice, you're going to fail, guys. Remember this. The problem with Filipinos who are having difficulty speaking English is because you're not practicing it. So it only takes practice. Alright? So communication skills takes practice. Proof of success. Just like what I've mentioned. If you are saying what you are saying is true about yourself, about your qualities, then prove it. Have a rational thinking instead of emotional thinking. Okay, so rational is something that the employer needs to hear. Okay, being rationalized person. Okay, <clears throat> uh, be matured and plan and organize yourself in the interview. 
So you see here some pictures of an interview and uh, you see here a group interview, individual interview, so on and so forth. And you should be definitely properly suit up. So again, you could wear a business attire or your summer white. So it's, you're going to choose. The camera should always be on and always test your audio. Alright? So, okay, you cannot shake the hands of the person because it's going to be an online. Okay? Alright, so uh, watch your gestures, your facial expression, okay, and avoid monotonous tone. Okay, so before I leave you, before I dismiss the uh, Google Meet, do you have any questions?